Hey everyone, welcome to your March monthlies. And each month we've been focusing on a different chakra. January was the root chakra, February was the sacral chakra. This month will be the solar plexus chakra. That's all the yellow, that is the color of the yellow chakra, the solar plexus chakra. The root chakra is has to do with how we kind of relate to groups or the world. The sacral chakra was how we related to another individual. And the solar plexus chakra is more how we relate to ourselves. So the theme of this reading for this month, we're going to look at how can I honor myself more. So we're going to dive into a reading for each zodiac sign and we're going to jump into your sign right now. All right, all my Scorpios, this is your March reading, and we're going to start off by pulling a card here from the You Are Awesome deck. And this is just going to be what the creator wants you to know overall for March and how you can honor yourself more. And one more time. All right, so for our Scorpios, what would you like them to know about their March, please? No, nope, none of those. This is the one right here. And beautiful little sunrise or sunset there. And it says, yep, new sunrise, because it says with a new day comes new strengths and new challenges. Like keeping ice cream from melting while running up a mountain before the sun rises without being seen. Yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> so this is these new strengths coming in, these new awarenesses, this I love this new dawn that's coming in for you here. So some new information coming in because the sun will shine light on things in your life and challenges that come at us too. They will show us who we really are, right? They'll show us our strengths. They'll show us what we're made out of. And I kind of feel like that's what's been going on. And March is going to be this big reflective time for you to really see what has been going on. We're going to pull a card here from the Major Archon of this deck. Um, this month I'm using the Sun and Moon Tarot. And what I do is I split out the Major Arcana from the four suits of the Minor Arcana. And the Major Arcana represents what, like this card, is the overall general energy for the month that the Creator wants you to know about. So we give a little more shuffle here. Cards are already starting to want to jump out and fly. So let's take a look here. See, for our Scorpios, what else would you like them to know? I feel like it's this one right there. And you <laughs> have the strength card. <laughs> so this is so perfect <laughs> because that's exactly what we were talking about right here with your finding your inner strengths. And this card has a beautiful awareness that comes with it because this here is your higher self. And this here is your human self. And there's a message that comes with this about before we come down here, you know, our higher self chooses the life that it's going to have, including the avatar, the human character that's going to represent it during its adventure here, which is the wolf in this case. Usually there's like a lion on the standard tarot. But in this case, you chose a wolf. And so the wolf comes down and it's not aware of its higher self yet. It's just, you know, it only knows itself. It's told by the outside world that what it's hungry for and what it's thirsty for can be found out here in the outside world through relationships. And that's of any kind, whether romantic, family, friends, whatever, situations like jobs, education, whatever circumstances are in your life, or what's going to make you feel whole and complete and not thirsty is your body, is your possessions, is your bank account. So the wolf goes, okay, like the rest of us, we go out into the world and we eat of that and drink of that and it doesn't make us feel whole and complete. It doesn't fill us up. It doesn't take away our thirst. In fact, it makes us even more hungry. It makes us even more thirsty the more we, we do of that. So it ends up becoming this hangry wolf, you know, a hungry, angry wolf, and it's howling at the moon because it is so desperate 
for have something that will fulfill it well our higher self is always aware of its lower self right our spiritual side is always aware of our little human experience and when it hears us howling it comes down it doesn't come down to you know kill the wolf and put it out of its misery it doesn't try to cage the wolf to protect it from others or protect others from it and it doesn't try to train the wolf you know like in a circus or anything like that it doesn't try to manipulate it because it knows what the wolf is really hungry for is the unconditional love of back home and it can't find it in the outside world it only finds conditional love out there but because our higher self is a powerful supernatural eternal spirit being made of unconditional love it can give the wolf what it's been hungry and thirsting for so it hugs the wolf and loves it and that you know howling wolf this you know hangry howling wolf becomes a little wolf cub sitting in the lap of our higher self feeling full feeling its thirst quenched feeling unconditioned love and feeling all that love for the first time probably in its life so it feels this wholeness and this completeness that it's been wanting and that's the inner strength that it finds in the, our higher self and what's wonderful is that with our higher self coming down and, and interacting with us the wolf where it didn't recognize and realize we were the higher self was there before it now does and it's not like superman where it comes down brings the set and then takes off it actually stays with us then and it joins hand in hand and walks with us or hand in paw right walks with us the rest of our journey and we experience life in a whole completely different way so you do have these strengths that are coming in and like it talked about here all those situations before that happened is what made the the wolf howl and become hangry to where it has ignited this relationship so i love how this is unfolding and then i'm also going to pull um four cards here from these dark tarot and this is just represents messages from our shadow for each of the four suits we're about to look at and you can look at the shadow as like a tour guide that's taking us on this tour through this amusement park of fear and it brings us messages and awareness to that which is hidden you know you can think of like our unconscious our shadow side are all those things that are running behind the scenes like you know you've ever have a computer where you've minimized a program and it's still playing music or something and you're like i know it's coming from somewhere but i don't know what it is because it's not in our face on our screen it's been minimized and it's down on the bottom so we don't even realize it's there it's in the background and these are the messages that it's going to bring for us i'm going to pull one for each of the four suits so i just need four cards please Okay, so those two, what else? Okay, that's one, and then this is the other. All right, and then we're gonna start here into the Minor Arcana. And the Minor Arcana, where this represents the general energy for the month, these represent four different sides of our human experience. And starting with wands is our fire energy the fire element and it represents our drive our ambition our aha inspiration our passion opal also represents like our spiritual energy or the energy that we're having so this will be what the creator wants you to know about your spiritual adventure during the month so for our scorpios what would you like them to know okay i want that one right there Actually, they want two here, so we will take both. And you've got the five of wands, which says strife at the top. And what this five does is it transforms our energy. Because usually you'll see, like, it starts off where you see people fighting. And I usually, usually there's like five wands and five people are battling. And there's this energy about it that pops in, which is 
you think there's strife, you think there's battling going on, and that's the energy that you feel in the beginning, and they're battling each other and really beating each other with those stabs. And finally, only one is standing and four are laying, just exhausted, and even the person standing is breathing heavy and exhausted. And then they all start laughing and they put away their stabs and they all go arm in arm down the path back to the monastery where they're going into the meal hall. And you're like, oh, wait, these are not people that are trying to hurt one another. These are five Buddhist monks that were trying to help each other train to improve their skills. They were doing it out of care and love. And you're like, oh, so there's this transformation that happens with the energies that you're seeing there. And then you have the Nine of Wands, which says strength at the top. <laughs> so there is this strength message that you're having for this month this month holy scorpios and you can look at the nine of wands as being this perseverance card too of don't give up continue on you're so close because the ten of wands is when you go through this ending and new beginning so you're definitely at this place of transforming things in your life, transforming this energy and becoming aware of things. We're also going to look at your shadow here, see what else they have to say about this. And you have the two of spheres, which would be the two of pentacles in a standard tarot. Pentacles is where we're going to next, which represents the outside world, represents that whole experience we have. And what's funny is the two of pentacles is this balancing of the upper and the lower realms which is totally what the strength card was about. So there is this message reiterated here about the two of you that are experiencing this human experience. And that does prompt me to let you know about a series that I have out there. It's a free series. It's called You Times Two. We started at the beginning of this year. I'll have it linked at the end of the video here too, because it's all about just a short video, 15 to 20 minutes each week, that tells you about the adventure of discovering the two of us are higher and our lower self like the strength card. In fact, I particular specifically talk about the strength card in that it's like the poster child for it. So I definitely would look into that um, just to get additional messages for that too. But we're gonna move on to this Return of Spirit deck, which is gonna give us more clarification around your spiritual adventure for the month of March. Let's see what else the Creator wants all you Scorpios to know. All right, right off the bat, boom. And you've got integrity. So I love that. It's kind of that authenticity, right? About having integrity for who you really are and acting on that. And they do want me to read from the book on this one, so we will. It says, this card has come to you today because your own sense of integrity is strong. Do not doubt yourself or allow someone else to shake you with accusations, should that be the case. Your integrity demands that you do what feels right. And this is because your integrity is directly connected to your spiritual sense of direction, much like a compass. It helps you align with the divine plan and take right action. One of Spirit's ways of guiding us through our integrity, I mean, I'm sorry, one of Spirit's ways of guiding us is through our integrity. It's important for you to remember that whatever action you have taken, it was the best of intention, regardless of the outcome. At the end of the day, it's between you and God and no one else. So keep that in mind. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It only matters what you think. Your heart is good. Do not allow any outside influence to leave you questioning it, because spirit doesn't. Carry on doing what you are doing. Just stay true to what you feel is right. That is all anyone can ever ask of you. Often the integrity card comes to those who are here to do important work on spirit's behalf. And these people are strongly guided by their integrity. And you are one of them. And sometimes your strengths and gifts are tested so you can discover for yourself just how strong they are within you. <laughs> Can't make it up. 
This card may also come to you if you are trying to deal with someone who is out of alignment with their personal integrity. Regardless of what takes place, do not deviate from your own sense of integrity as you deal with the situation. And do not attempt to fix or change the other person. Send them love and forgive them as best you can while you remain strong in your own truth and integrity. And yeah, that definitely doesn't mean that the difference between integrity and being dogmatic about your rules and your expectations is that integrity comes from spirit and is ruled with love and compassion, whereas the other <laughs> would come from our little scared wolf that is trying to control things on the outside world and there's fear involved in it. So be aware of that as that unfolds. And then we move into the pentacle suit, which is the earth element, and it represents our outside world. Pentacles are like coins, so it's all about, you know, where this is your spirit, your inner spirit, and this is your, we're going to go into your mind and your emotions. All those things are internal, and this is external. So this is all those people, those characters on stage with you, all those situations and circumstances in the outside world, your body, your possessions, your bank account, all that external stuff. It's what the creator wants you to know about your physical adventure during March. So for our Scorpios, what would you like them to know about their physical adventure, please? Okay. You got the two of pentacles. <laughs> so two of spheres, two of pentacles. <laughs> so reiterated, check out the U times two. <laughs> and then we'll pull from your shadow here too, which is the hanged man. And you can see here, this is all about seeing things from a higher perspective. So it's definitely looking at this your higher self, connecting to your higher self, seeing things from the perspective of your higher self, and that is what transforms things for you. It also can be about that you've been stagnant for a while in your actions, and it's time to change. It's a time to take the noose off your foot, which usually you're hanging upside down from whatever you know, as usual with this card, has someone hanging upside down by their foot. Time to reach up, unhook your foot, time to get grounded and time to move forward and have movement in your life instead of holding back out of your fears. So that is a perfect message for all this. I love that two pentacles showing up twice there for you. We're also gonna pull a card from the Spirit Junkie deck here. See what else the creator wants you to know about this physical adventure for March for you. Okay, yeah, we actually do want these two. <laughs> Perfect message. I honor my self worth by asking for what I want. So definitely, there is this honoring yourself, honor your self worth. <laughs> And then you have this one too. I'll read that in a sec, let you see it. And it says, all is well. Everything is working out for your highest good. And out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. Yep, perfect. So this is trusting that everything that is unfolding in your life is like we talked about before you came down here, your higher self has all these faded events that it wants to have happen for you so that you do experience the opposites of who you are to more fully understand who you really are. And that happens through these obstacles like it talked about, this running uphill with ice cream and trying to get up there before the sun rises, before it melts, and go, you know. Which brings us into the sword suit, which is the element of air, and it represents our mind. So this is your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations. This is going to be what the creator wants you to know about your mental adventure during the month of March. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you have the Eight of Swords. You can see they kind of feel like they're a little puppet, they feel like they're out of control, they feel like, you know, <laughs> there's feeling restriction, they're feeling they can't 
do things in life. There's this interference in your life. With the Eight of Swords, the energy that it brings is it's this awareness that it is only your thoughts and your beliefs that have kept you limited, kept you blinded, kept you feeling restricted. And so that's great because with this journey that you're on, you're realizing that like that little wolf, it knew that all these expectations, all those supposed to be's and should be's and need to be's and have to be's of the outside world, all those popular opinions telling you who you should be, who you should be in a relationship with, who you should be friends with, blah, 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 and, and jobs and education and things in your body, all of that did not feed or quench the thirst of the wolf and and you're realizing that as you look into these thoughts and beliefs that you've had all along and this awareness is coming you're ready to move on to this new level of your thoughts and your beliefs let's see what the shadow has to say for you too here oh it's like eight of wands <laughs> so eights and eights eights are about movement to new levels and the eight of wands we talked about wands being your drive your ambition your inspiration your passion your energy this is your energy is moving fast you have a big flood of energy happening around all these thoughts and these beliefs which makes total sense as you stop investing so much energy in maintaining these old ways of thinking all that energy comes back to you because when you have all these it's like kind of like trying to herd cats you spend all this time that ends up being uneventful and not bringing you not uneventful but unproductive because you get one cat and you go get another one that cat takes off you never get all the cats sitting there all together unless you put boxes and a lot of food and it's only temporary before they're off again so you really invest all this energy into things that is not bringing you anything but when you stop investing energy in that all that energy comes back to you this also represents messages coming and so you do have a lot of messages coming to you and with this being from spirit you are getting messages from your higher self from the spiritual realm the more you connect with this higher self your higher self is like the conduit that it just opens you up to all of the spirit world so the stronger relationship you have with your higher self the more you get messages from all over the place and so just realize as that happens pay attention with your eyes your ears your heart your mind you're going to see and hear messages coming throughout the month of march for you and then we're also going to pull a card here from the high vibe deck to see what else the creator wants you to know about your mental adventure okay what else what else for our scorpios please okay it looks like you get two you get two here and you get two for this one too yeah high vibe attractions and this says attract high vibrations to yourself your highest vibration is your higher self right Run around the house excited about life. Doing so puts the law of attraction in play. When you want something good to happen to you, moping around the house and complaining will not get you closer. Get excited about something. Pretend to be excited about something. This raises your vibration. It makes you feel good inside and naturally attracts other high vibe energies. So I love that. And your other card is complain reframed <laughs> and that says we all do it whether verbally or in our heads we complain like it was talking about right complaining is a sneaky little downer that creeps its way into your psyche and well nothing good ever comes of it spend the day noticing how much you complain both in your mind and to others just notice and when you feel a complaint creeping in, stop, breathe, then reframe. Turn, this traffic is terrible, into, I'm so glad I get the time to listen to my favorite music. Turn, I hate the rain, into, I look forward to the moment when the rain stops. Be honest with yourself about the situation while knowing there are nicer ways to talk to yourself and others. So yeah, these both of these cards are talking about 
whatever you focus on, whatever your thoughts and your beliefs are, and whatever you're focusing on is what grows. And so there is this recommendation to reframe that, which the Eight of Swords can be about letting go of the old thoughts and beliefs that no longer serve you. Which brings us into the cup suit, which is water, which is our emotions. So this will be what the creator wants you to know about your emotional adventure during March. And this is your element, Scorpio, as you, you swim or walk around in the rain and the water. I mean, you are scorpion, your scorpions that transform into snakes, that transform into eagles, that transform into phoenixes. So you go all over the place and I love your transformative energy. So for our Scorpios, what do you want them to know? Okay, here we go. You've got the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is kind of known as the nostalgia card. And so you have, it says pleasure on here, but what this, what this is bringing in for you with this energy, especially with this, this high vibe attraction, it's allowing you with this transformation and, and this higher connection that you have with seeing things from the higher place from up above, it allows you to see that as you go back and look at old memories, you're like, well, that's the story that I put toward it. Is that really true? Can I look at it in a different way? Can I apply a new story to it if I want? And the answer is yes, you can, but do you want to? And you can go back and look at, like it says here, a complaint reframed. It's like this is a memory reframed. You can go back at a situation and see that every moment is either of unconditional love or the fear of losing conditional love. And if someone treated you in a way that was not of unconditional love, then it was a scream, a fearful scream for love and they were feeling out of control and anything they did to you or said to you or anything that they did was not rooted in unconditional love of their higher self but out of the fear-based beliefs and when we are in fear when we go into that fight or flight it's like a wolf it's like a person trained to a werewolf. You always see all those movies where like, well, and I was the wolf and I killed people. And they feel so bad about it, but they couldn't act any other way at that time because that's what they were. And that's kind of like what we go back and look at here is that person, what they were doing, they were feeling out of control when they were in fight or flight. They were literally out of their minds because when you're in fight or flight, the blood rushes from our brain and we do not think clearly. We definitely do not think of unconditional love. It's reactive. It's animalistic almost, like, like I said, like the wolf attacking. And so when you go back and you revisit and reframe your old memories, you start to see the situation differently. You start to see that person differently and you start to see yourself differently. So I love that. And let's see what your shadow has to say about that too. Yeah, you have the six of pentacles. So six is again, I like that. Eight, eight and eight and two and two and six and six. The six of pentacles is about the giving and receiving. And I really feel for this one, they want me to talk about this is the codependent awareness card as well because what it is it tells you and i always make sure everyone knows that i'm a recovering enabler and codependent relationship so no judgment from me at all this is all beautiful information that they're sharing because enablers they have this core belief that if you don't have something to give to someone then why would anyone want to be around you and so enablers have this fear of not being needed and this need to be needed. And so when they enter into a relationship, like you enter into like two adults in the beginning, but it quickly changes from adult to adult to child and <laughs> adult and child because, or parent and child, not adult and child, sorry. So adult to adult to parent and child. 
because an enabler needs to give and it's like I become the mama or daddy bird and this is the baby bird I give to you no 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 you can't give to me I only can give to you because if you're giving to me that means you're not needing me and that scares me and I feel out of control so I can't let you give to me and so I give and I give and I give and I give and we teach the little baby bird to only receive from us so it's not given back to us so we eventually become exhausted and then we become resentful right and so that's the life of the enabler in that relationship <laughs> and it doesn't turn out too well because when you're exhausted and, and feeling resentful that generally doesn't do well in a relationship the other thing is that this little baby bird down here it wants to give and if it won't give if we won't allow it to give to us then it's going to give outside of the relationship so whether it's a romantic okay we'll look at each so a romantic relationship if if we won't allow them to give to us then they're gonna seek romance outside of our relationship right other relationships <laughs> um, any other type of relationships too you know if we're not if it, they can't give to us then they'll invest their energy into like their job so they'll become a workaholic or they will find a hobby to invest their time in or working out or their friends or some sort of hobby but they'll find some other outlet for it right and so you understand those relationships and all that has to do with our beliefs, you know, with this Eight of Swords, our beliefs and thoughts about ourselves and just our low feelingness about ourselves, right? I honor my self-worth by asking for what I want. And so as you really find this strength, this inner strength to find this love within you and you go hand in hand with your higher self, you no longer need other people you no longer have to give you're no longer afraid to receive because you're allowing people to you know you give out of extra you don't need their acknowledgement and their validation you just fill up with love and everything that overflows is without expectation and everyone just gets the overflow and people want to give to you you're like sure why not whereas before what people would give would scare the crap out of us and also fall short of making us feel whole and complete now it's just above and beyond extra and we're like sure you can give to me there's no nothing no strings attached to on our side right so there's this beautiful cleaning up and reframing of these memories of your life because of this inner strength that you're finding and then lastly we're going to pull a card here from this affirmations deck and this can represent additional information about your emotional adventure but because it's the last card for this reading we're also going to allow it to be a wild card so it can be whatever else the creator wants you to know about your month of march so creator for our scorpios what's the final message for them for this reading for this month of march okay here we go love it good things to come and that says there are so many amazing gifts coming your way especially now that you're able to receive them right i can't see them now because i respect the general convention of not peeking under the wrapping paper but they will show up when the time is just right and that's when i'll remember how much fun it is to be surprised so i love that you definitely you're going through this beautiful opening where as throughout the month of march you find your inner strength and you find this ability to be open to receiving suddenly you're going to receive like you haven't received before so definitely worth the journey right <laughs> but i love this for i'm going to leave the reading here in addition to these monthly readings i also offer weekly readings by each of the elements like fire signs water signs i put out new moon full moon readings and a variety of others so if you don't want to miss out on any of these free readings and be notified immediately when they become available if you give this video a little thumbs up and click that like button and then also click on the subscribe button that gives you access to the notification bell when you go in there you can have your settings set to all which means you'll get updates for 
all of the new videos that come out and that way you don't miss out on a thing. Also doing that helps share the love because when you like a video or share a video or subscribe to a channel, it makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy it wants to help share the videos with other people. So if you feel so inclined to do any of that, I am of course very grateful for that. Also, these are general readings. If you want even more specific information for your life, I do offer private readings and all that information is in the description box below. So if you have a need for that, you can check out that information there. All of my Scorpios, as you are going throughout each and every second of every day of your life, please know that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing March. I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. And until then, you take care.